Well, howdy, folks. Woo! It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Hey, you know, locating and catching fall crappie, whether it be in the early part of the fall to the middle fall, can be tough. In fact, when the lake turns over, the crappie do scatter out. Today, I'm going to show you some tips and techniques that might help you catch more crappie. Float's gone. There he is. <laughs> right there close to the boat. That was quick. Come on in here. It's a crappie. Black crappie. Pretty good fish too. Alright. I've been messing around with them a little bit and I've caught my first fish right here. Crappie. That's a pretty fish right there. Real girthy. Wide. Clean. Okay, let's let him go right here. Go on back. First fish of the day. One of the most important things you can do is catch that first fish in my opinion i'll show you y'all what i'm fishing with today or what i caught that crappie on i have a lot of stuff with me today because i wasn't sure exactly what i was going to do uh today there's a lot of different things we can do today but this is a cadence rod it's the cr5 six foot light action rod moderate fast that means moderately fast tip uh Real good little uh, rod, real light is what I like about them. I'm using two pound test. Um, this ain't vicious. What's the name of this? I forget the name of the line, folks. I'm sorry. But anyway, it's a cadence reel. It's the CS10. Real smooth. Little reel here. And I'm fishing out in front of this tree right now. That fish hit close to the boat. And all I'm doing is just barely moving that float. I can see right now that these fish is going to be pretty shallow. I've seen a lot of shad this morning on top of the water. Small shad. So I know I'm going to fish old two or three foot deep probably today. There's fish. Crappie. Fish is fat. Naturally, this limber rod right here and two pound line, they all give me a fit. Let's get right over here and land him. It's black crappie. Come on in here. That's a pretty fish right there. Another healthy fish, short, stubby, <laughs> girthy. And I'm using, I forgot to tell y'all, go on back and get a little bit bigger than that, a Perry Pippinger jig. Perry Pippinger, my favorite hand-tied jig, no doubt. Fellow from Texas, and I'm talking about he is skilled tying these jigs right here this is called the elmo now he makes several different kinds this is a gray with blue marabou and a tinsel well actually he puts two tinsels sometimes i'll cut one off sometimes i'll leave them makes a big difference now you can see i'm fishing about three and a half feet deep the water's still turning over in the lakes that i fish so uh, when this happens, I look for areas like this and I fish real slow and high up in the water column. 
Okay. But the main thing is, like I said uh, a while ago, is look for the shad. If there's no shad in the area, folks, I won't fish. That's the main thing they're eating uh, in the fall. And the water clarity right here is relatively clear, so that's why I'm using a natural color or a, a color that looks like a shad. And I'm barely moving that float. I'm moving it a few inches and letting the jig settle up, uh, up under the float. You see? Short movements, taking my time. Right here. Now they might be another fish right here on this point. I don't know. But I'm going to take my time and really fish it slow. Crappies scatter out during the turnover. They don't really bunch up a whole lot of fish at one time. Here in my neck of the woods. Now, it may be different uh, where you fish in your lake. But the three systems that I fish, it, it just holds true. In other words, they're scattered up. You might catch, I might catch three or four in the area, and then I'll have to move. So it is a patient way of fishing. There you Float under. Fish is fat. No wonder. Big crappie. Good crappie. Change my rod and reel. I've got a I think this is a seven foot three B and M rod. Well it is it's bucks. I'm excited. I love to catch a big crappie. Let's get right here and lift him. I forgot my net again, folks. Look here what a crappie. That's a big fish right there. Big crappie. Let's talk about that. Look at there. Now that's a good fish right there. Now I'm gonna show you what a tiny bait. I, I've done a little change. And the reason I did is because these fish are extremely inactive. And when that happens, in my opinion, this is only an opinion, one man's opinion, I'm going to lay him right here real easy. Quit, quit. Let me explain what I, what I believe, fish. This is an inch and a half slab tail bait, very small. Now you can notice right here, if you'll notice, it's uh, a natural color. Okay, and I have a 1 64th of an ounce. 1 1 64th of an ounce, which is real, real light. And that is about as finesseful as I know how to get. Uh, and I'm using two pound test line. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it's flat calm out here. And, there's a, and the fish are suspended up in the water column. Uh, keeping this bait, a small bait like this, in front of a crappie for as long as you can will ensure you to catch these fish. Once you get, you catch two or three, you'll get an instinct, uh, or I do, um, about how to work the bait. In other words, how slow, it's hard to explain. Um, yeah. you just get a feeling is what I'm trying to say folks on how to work the bait and the slower the better when, when crappie are inactive is what I'm trying to say I try to get in depth with it too because I want y'all to catch fish consistently crappie can be caught year long uh, it don't matter what type of weather if you can figure out how active they are 
and the depth. Those are the two important, most important things about crappie, in my opinion. But anyway, let's let this fish go and let's catch another. Okay, let's slip that fish right there. There she goes. That was a big crappie, no doubt. Okay, let's get back in here. Now, folks, that, that fish that I caught was suspended. Um, see, I'm fishing about three foot deep right here. That fish was over eight feet of water. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, well, I'm fishing over some stumps and stuff like that. But these fish here are not really relating to cover. They're just kind of milling around is what I call it. They're just moving around. And there's a few shad in the area. Uh, even though I'm in a different area, it, it doesn't matter. I'm still looking for shad at all times. If I don't see shad, I just want fishing area. Not in the fall. All right, let's catch another one. There he is. Just a suspended crappie out in the middle of nowhere. That fish fighting. Now this this little jig right here has a size eight hook in it. So it's real important to, to just take your time with such a small hook it'll hold them as long as you don't try to horse the fish see i'm letting the rod do the work this is another big crappie i mean a big one i think i'm gonna stake down right here in other words anchor and just cast around fan cast okay let's see come on in here now look at there, what a fish. Real simple technique. And this is a technique that's kind of separated from a lot of different techniques, no doubt. Good fish. Let's let him go. Right here, let's go over here where the sun is. Quit. Now you can go. There we go. Mm. It's a good one. Good crappie. They are scattered. Now I caught that one on some structure right here. Come on. Your beat, your beat, your beat. It's a good fish. Tell you what, good fish. I mean, look at that. Let's let it go. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, folks. I want to show y'all something that may benefit a lot of fishermen like it has me. All right, folks, uh, this is nothing more than a shallow water anchor. Uh, it's called Wind Fisherman. And how it works is it just fastens and it didn't take me but about 30 minutes to install this, by the way. You fasten one to each side. Okay. It's an adjustable arm right here that pivots right here. And it, and it goes down the entire length of your boat. Has a clamp right here to hold it. And you just pull it out. File them both. And it digs in. Let's... Let's look at that point right here. It dig in the sand, uh, muck, a mucky bottle, uh, gravel, and it holds well. Well, folks, I just wanted to share that with y'all because um, it's an alternative to an expensive hydraulic system as far as the shallow water anchor is concerned. 
and I thought that more people needs to know about this. I found it online, and um, hey, I think it's a good thing. Whoa. Whoa. And remember! Whoa! Go fish when you can, because it's good!